YouTube! Oh, oh, my phone just went off. No, it didn't. I don't know what that sound was. iPad? Uh, no. Everyone. Uh, this is another unboxing. It's like a 12 part unboxing of some Kickstarter bull crap. I mean, yeah. What do I spend so much money? So, I pledged the $50 amount to the handle band, which is a universal bike mount. Well, how does it work? It takes a village. It's amazing what can happen when people come together around good ideas. Not a year ago, the handle band was just an idea. Today, thanks to more than 3,000 early adopters, like me, uh, it has grown from prototype to product. Thank you for supporting its grassroots innovation. How does it work? This goes on your bike. You can mount phones, lights, you know, anything. And of course, because it's on Kickstarter and it's not a wallet, it must have a bottle opener right there. Um, I got the black. It's available in a bunch of colors. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like a DIY GoPro DIY light. So with the $50 pledge level, I got this sweet flashlight. Uh, it's the Inova T2. Uh, there was another option. Unless this is the Chinese one. I didn't want the Chinese one. I don't wanted the American one. Because it's just like so fancy. Let's see. Handle band light option. Uh, this is the worst. survey down. Well, I hope they sent me the right one. There was one that was available on Deal Extreme that I didn't want. I wonder if I just search Anova. There's like a 1000 lumen light, and this is like 500, but like it's just as good. Maybe it'll say right here. 500 hours. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I should prepare more for these. Oh, 243. So this is the American one. So good. Um, so I got this because I thought it'd be cool to turn my phone into a bike computer. Um, and also because, you know, this light's pretty sweet. So. I pledged a lot of money. Uh, I'll get some scissors. You can look at my mess. So, packaging's pretty good. No clamshell, so that's a huge plus. Three zip ties. And I'm forever commemorated on the back as one of the 3,000 plus Kickstarter backers. Uh, okay. More grunting, more grunting. So, we have this, it's the bike proxy. Um, this just goes around. So strap itself. So you use the thinner part. So that's the idea. Um, let's see how we can get a light on this. Oh, okay. Rubber. Got it. So it's supposed to go over. So that you can mount stuff to it. So it's kind of hard, but it's it feels like pretty thick rubber. Um, what can we mount? So the Stanford nerd said that the guy suggested to mount his phone, so let's try mounting this. Oh, uh, designed in California. Never fails. Never fails! Okay, so... Me. Ah, okay, so 
this is interesting. It's pretty tough. my niche. Okay, so it just came off. Let's just try getting it on. So, step one. Oh, dang. Okay, so this part's supposed to be the bike. Um, this is a little thick for a bike. Uh, maybe the flashlight's a better proxy. Um, kind of good. We easily slide. So I guess that's good. Probably pretty good to uh, trust your phone in this with this. Better. We'll use this ibuprofen. London Drugs brand ibuprofen. I did not unbox that, I'm sorry. Uh, still a little thick for a bike part. Uh, I don't have any bike part shaped objects here. Oh, okay. Uh, we have some pims, the drink of British people, and um, Prohibition era British people. This is one of the. Am I recording? I really hope I'm recording. This is one of the more arduous setups. Oh, that kind of hurts. Well, at least you know you're getting high quality rubber. Ease of use. Um, takes a really buff Stanford guy or girl to get this working. Maybe the phone isn't the ideal. Ow! Oh, okay. So, imagine this is my bike. Oh, this is more of a night shame. God. So, that's that. Um, this fancy flashlight, I really hope it comes with batteries. Because... So, clamshell packing. Not awesome. It goes 243 lumens. There's strobe, low power, and high power. Oh, there are batteries included, so it takes two 123A lithium batteries. Probably little disc batteries. Um, professional power efficiency, because um, there are professional light people. 243 on high, 22 on low. Uh, run time is 3 hours, 25 minutes on high. 34 hours on low, it is water resistant, it is impact resistant to up to 1 meter, and it has a range of up to 145 meters, that's probably on high, so, you know, if light is proportional, one tenth, about one tenth, or regular, so about 15 meters. I'm sure someone else has an actual unboxing on this engineered to military and police tactical standards. Just think engineering is military is harder or police? I don't know. There's a little thing inside, stealthily packed away. Maintenance and precautions for the T1, T2, and T3, so bottom one. Low. Is this strobe? Low. High. I wonder 
Oh, with this control there. Oh my god, this is not English. Okay. Okay, so the tail cap. That's full power. Oh, someone messaged me. I don't know. These is confusing. Half press or full click. Two times, so if I do two. And strobe mode is half press Oh, cool. So, half press and hold. Um, okay, so, high, low, is just the toggle setting, and then half press and click. Half press, hold, and click. Or half press, half press. Oh, okay, rapid half press. So, sorry, seizure warning, I'll put that up in the disclaimer. Um, now we'll try the lights for this extremely long and boring unboxing, but my grandma turned up the heat so high. Can't sleep. Uh, and yeah, you saw the clock. It's only 11.42. I'm super cool. Okay. So the light, I'm just going to try to slide in. Very difficult. Um, I don't think this is how they want the light to be mounted. This makes less sense. Where would I put this on my bike such that the light could be mounted like that? How, how does this work? Oh well. Finally. Final function. Uh, this one looks more like the, the gift for my birthday. Thank you, Mr. 604 Photography. This is a 2013 Optimum from Sierra Nevada. It's a whole cone Imperial IPA. And, uh, you know, it's in a green bottle. Uh, bottle opener worked pretty well. Um, this was frosted when I started. That's just how long this thing took. So this this glass is cold. Just dot those products. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Tip to tail. Extremely hoppy, extremely bitter, but it's an IPA. Got a nice aftertaste. I could dig it.
I can dig it. That's uh, kind of floral, kind of citrusy. I did mention it. Content. Um, what else we got here? What else we got here? Whoa, that's a strong boy. Or girl. 10.4% alcohol. Um, it's the world's biggest whole cone IPA. 100 IBU. Yeah, whatever. So, for more unboxings, uh, low-level dodgeball play, please subscribe to youtube.com slash Thank you.